Hey Big Shots, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make awesome animated Instagram stories directly in Final Cut Pro 10. first time here, my name is Daniel Ford and I help young entrepreneurs grow their business online using the power of video. Be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so you never miss another video. Recently, I was reached out by Digital Products 669 to review this awesome animated Instagram stories pack. Basically, I'll tell you guys if this pack is worth it, the pros and cons of getting a pack like this, and keep in mind that there is an affiliate link down in the description down below and it'll help support the channel if you use that link. So big shots, like this video down below if you struggle with standing out on Instagram stories. So this ultimate story pack only works with Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion. So you can use this on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. So this pack is only $35 and it's a pretty good deal compared to all the features that you actually get in the pack. If you look down here, you can see that there's tons of pre-made scenes in here with tons of graphics that you can use. And the cool thing is that all these graphics are editable, all the colors, all the text, everything that you can use in there. And I'll show you guys cool different little ways that you can actually use these graphics to make a bunch of different templates. Okay, in order to use these animated Instagram stories, you need to create a new project in a certain way and create new project. And when you're doing so, make sure that you go over to video, go down to custom, and then change the resolution to 1080 by 1920. And then we'll jump over here. So once you have everything installed, you notice that you get a bunch of cool backgrounds, headers, pre-made scenes. You have swipe up features as well as some really cool titles that you can deal with. Why don't we start with the pre-made scenes and I'll show you guys how you can actually utilize this and make it your own thing. So there's a bunch of cool pre-made scenes that you got in here. Since I'm more of a content creator, I'm gonna use this pre-made scene number 14. So this is what this scene looks like. Looks pretty good so far. Now the problem is, is I probably don't want that stock photo in there or the photo of the girl right there. So if you come over here to the top right corner, just open up your parameters over here. So the first thing I'll probably want to get rid of is this picture. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, click the drop zone, come right over here, select the picture and apply the clip. So as you notice though, the picture is not lining up in here and I probably need to actually fill it in the frame more. I can actually play with the values down here. So I can actually move this up and down if I want to, or I can move it left to right. And so let's see, I'll probably bring it right there in the middle more and just raise it up a little bit. And I can play with the scale, so if I wanna make it bigger or smaller. And if you notice the background's a little bit dull, so one way I get by with that, if I wanna make my own background, I can use one of their pre-made backgrounds, like this background right here, and just bring it right there down below. And there I am, just popping up in the background back there. Doesn't look too bad. And if I don't like that, I can play around with some of the other pre-made backgrounds that they have, and I can make a really cool background doing that. So there's a lot of cool options that you can use as far as making really fun backgrounds to go along with these scenes. And you can change all the colors if you want to. So for example, if I come over here and I wanna change this background color, I just select the background. And let's say I wanna change it more to a blue type color. Cause maybe I want it to go along more with my brand. So then I change the colors to do that. All this text is editable. Daniel Ford, video marketer. So that pops up, Daniel Ford, video marketer. And maybe I don't like that there's that animated heart that pops in so I can get rid of that as well. This is the love accent. You can change all the animations and any of the text colors right here, but I'll probably just leave the text colors normal. And then another thing I can do is I can change this profile picture since I probably don't want that in there. So I just come down to the second drop zone. Let's bring in this one. I think this one looks pretty good. And then I just apply it to the clip after I select it and I can move it over to the left by playing with the X value. And maybe I wanna fix this text down here. I don't like the size of it. I wanna maybe just stand out a little more. So I'll just select this text, come over here to these text properties. Then I'll go over here to my favorite font and I'll use my favorite font right there. And you can actually make it bigger or smaller if you want to. So I'll probably increase the scale of this. And now I got an awesome Instagram story that I just edited myself directly in Final Cut Pro 10. So let me show you guys how you can edit and make your own animated Instagram story by using a lot of the features that they have through here and not using one of the templates that they have. So I'll come over here to the text and generators and then I'll go to backgrounds and I'll come over here and I'll, I think I'm gonna use background number five. I can bring this right down here to my timeline. So there's a bunch of fun headers that you can use in here. Some of them I may not use for my business, maybe like this jungle one. So I'll bring down header number eight down here 
and I'll look at it and it brings it has this cool little animation at the top that I can use. But let's come back to background number five. I think I'm gonna change the background colors for this. Let's come over here and check out the colors. And I'll change the bottom one as well. And now let's change the middle one to a yellow type color. Okay, so now I got a cool little background right there and I got the header at the top, but the colors aren't really matching. So I'll probably wanna fix that. So basically I'll click on the header and I can change some of the colors up here of this header that's coming in to match this background. So all I have to do is select some of the colors. So what I'll do is I'll select this purple one and I will select the yellow and that gives me more of a yellow background and let's get rid of this pink as well. Give it a blue color. So now when it comes in, it actually looks a lot better and the colors match a lot better. But maybe I don't like this uh, little profile picture up here and this little thing coming out. So all I have to do there is when I click on the header, let's get rid of this. You can click on the background text and that will get rid of the background text. So you don't have to deal with that anymore. And you can play with the, the width of this as well and change more colors if you want to, but I'm pretty much gonna leave it like this because I like it so far. Let's go over here to titles and let's use title number four. And I'll bring in title number four just on top of that. And let's see what title number four looks like. New video. But as you notice, as I type that in, basically this is all cut off. So all I need to do is I need to come down here to offset and just bring the offset on the Y value just up a little bit. So it matches a little bit and it's not actually getting cut off at the bottom. Good. So, and then I look at this now again and it works, so it's good. But the only problem is, is I probably don't like the text and I don't like where the shape is at. So let's change the text first. So I'll just double click on the, t uh, the text, highlight this, go to my favorite text, and I can increase the size because I want it to stand out a little more. What I can also do with this is I want to make this, this shape probably a little bit bigger so I can play with that. So all I have to do is come back to the parameters and I can actually play with the height of the shape and I can play with the roundness of the shape and I can play with the, uh, the width of the shape as well. And then I can come back into the text properties and I can play with the, uh, the line spacing right here. And that brings it a lot closer together. So overall, I'm making a pretty good inst animated Instagram story just by playing with some of the parameters that are already given to me. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, so now it says new video up. So we come over here and we got the swipe up feature. And there's tons of animations or buttons that you can use in here to get people to swipe up. I like this one and I'll probably use this one. So I'll just bring that right on top. And it's got a little dragging button, new video up. And then it says swipe up right there. I mean, you can choose any of these and you could add text into there. I could even add a picture of me popping into here. So this looks pretty good so far. And I could even change things on this swipe up feature if I wanted to. For example, I can delay the animation. I can make it slower if I want to. See how it doesn't come back right away. And then it comes back there. Or I can just keep it fast. Put a circle around it. Put two circles around it. So let's look at some of the animated transitions that they have with this. So I created this nice little effect using all the effects that this pack comes with. And it's really cool and it makes it really simple. I just had to change all the colors. I changed some of the text, that was it. The only thing that didn't come with the pack was honestly this picture that I took of myself. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys now how you can use some of the transitions that come in the pack. Moving away from the titles and generators, we'll come down here to transitions and it's under Instagram transitions once you have it installed. And so what's cool is there's a bunch of really cool transitions that come with this pack. So you got this stretch, you got this split transition, you got this test one, you got the zoom in. I personally like the zoom in one a lot. You can play with a bunch of different things to do this. So it causes the animation to do different things when it comes in. So you got a bunch of cool features in here. You got this ink one and you just bring that one in and it causes this cool ink effect as it comes in. So that's pretty cool. And obviously you're gonna have to play around with some of the animated Instagram stories to make this look really good, but I'm just showing you really quickly some of the stuff that they can do. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of using some of these animated Instagram stories or getting this pack and if it's even worth it for you. So this pack is incredible if you own an e-commerce business or if you're trying to promote your new videos that are coming out on your YouTube channel for your business. There's tons of useful little animations that you can reuse over and over again, especially if you're constantly using Instagram stories. This will make you stand out over your competition significantly. Packs like this aren't that great sometimes because you typically can only use a few of them for the type of business that you have. And sometimes the stock footage doesn't fit for what you're trying to do. So some of the packs on here are geared more toward travel video or, may or maybe an e-commerce. And I'm not an e-commerce store, so it actually wouldn't help me that much. But because there's so many animations I can use in here, I can actually create cool little videos just based off the animations that they've given me. I think it's pretty worth it. So Big Shots, 
what do you think of this pack? Do you think it's worth it? If so, let me know down in the comments below. I want to give a shout out to Digital Products 669 and I want to say thank you for letting me do a review on this product. So if this video helped you guys out in any way at all and you're interested in actually purchasing this pack, there's an affiliate link down below in the description. It just helps support the channel. And if this video helped you in any way at all, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time.